Hi. This morning we're talking with John Hollenbeck and he is a civil engineer. Morning, John. Good morning. And uh, what what was your personal path to becoming a civil engineer, including other jobs you may have had or paths that uh, didn't work out for you or changed? Uh, well, my path that changed is I was going to go into chemical engineering, but the summer uh, before going to college, I worked on a road and bridge crew at the county I grew up in in Kansas. We built a bridge, and I found that to be a lot of fun and learned later that civil engineers design bridges, so I made the switch from chemical engineering to civil engineering. Great. And uh, what type of education do you need to be a civil engineer? Well, in the uh, high school, uh, I needed to take a lot of math and science, and then that carried on into college. For the first two years, it's a lot of math, science, physics, things of that nature. In the final two years of college, it's more focused on the area of civil engineering of, that people are interested in, like geotechnical things on, you know, on soils or hydraulics, uh, which well, is what I like. What are hydraulics? Hydraulics is like the uh, flow of water through pipes, uh, through canals, uh, through open rivers and things of that nature. And uh, are there entry-level positions that would lead to becoming a civil engineer? Yes, uh, my job that I had with the San Luis Obispo County, I hired several interns which were college students and uh, they basically acted as almost like apprentices to me. I mean, they got paid, but uh, so that was kind of their summer job or during class time they would work for me for a few hours a week. And uh, what's the typical annual salary salary for an entry level civil engineer? You know, I, I think there are between fifty and sixty thousand right now with uh, kids with bachelor's degrees, which is uh, quite a bit higher than when I when I got out of school in nineteen eighty five. And uh, are there uh, basic personality traits or or skills, manual skills uh, that would be needed to become a civil engineer? Um, Manual skills mainly would be applicable to those that might go into the construction management side of civil engineering. Uh, they have to be out in the field and climb around on rebar cages or, or uh, you know, look at uh, various construction activities to inspect them to see if they're passing the specifications. Otherwise, there's not much manual skill uh, involved. As far as personality traits, you need to be pretty much uh, you know, have good work ethic, uh, uh, be able to solve problems, things of that nature. And uh, what are the normal work hours or days in your vocation? Uh, do you work evenings, weekends, uh, nights? Uh, if you're on a construction crew, you may be working in the evenings. Um, you know, I remember when I was in Texas managing construction, it was real hot during the day, so the contractor would start pouring concrete at 2 o'clock at night. But that that's kind of an unusual thing. Typically, you might consider civil engineering as a white-collar type of profession, and it's more of an 8 to 5 issue. Um, but most civil engineers certainly work a lot more hours than just eight to five. It, it's a pretty demanding profession as far as getting work done and getting it done on time. And so sometimes you have to put a little extra hours into it. Yeah, without re re without regard for a schedule. And without regard for pay too. You typically yeah. <laughs> earn you're, on, you're pretty much salary, and you don't get paid. Well, that's overtime. a good that's a good point to bring up. So you, you're looking at a salaried position where you are really not going to get overtime. You just have to do the job. On occasion, you can get overtime if the client is expecting that to be a part of, the, of what he signed on to a contract to do, as far as pay pay for overtime. And uh, do you or can you travel as a civil engineer? Yes, I had a lot of traveling. Uh, I've been to several states uh, in the United States as a result of uh, my there's job. A, there's some bridge building going on in the background <laughs> here. So, yeah. I've, uh, for, for 17 years, I worked on hydroelectric projects, and that got me to, to go to several beautiful places in the United States. And uh, what's, a, what's a typical work day like for you? Oh... You know, the thing I like about this profession, it's never really typical, quote unquote. Uh, I would usually have new assignments quite often, and uh, that's what made it interesting. But, you know, the way I process things is I may wake up early in the morning and think about an assignment I have going on at work, and then I finally get to work and start executing it, coordinating with the other staff members. We work as a team, and, you know, we delegate activities and try to get uh, the project done on time and on budget. And what do you like best about your vocation? Uh, the ever-changing aspects of it. Honestly, it's not uh, it's not the same thing all the time. Uh, I've worked on many different projects. I've worked on 
dams, I've worked on computer models, I've worked on construction, I've worked on uh, managing projects. Uh, so it, it has the avenues to be able to branch out and do almost anything you want to within the regard of civil, as a civil engineer. And what part of it do you like the least? Uh, when I was working for a consulting firm and their demands on project gross margin, which is the bottom line basically. Get it done quicker, faster, or cheaper. Bo bo what's bottom line? Bottom line is how much profit they can earn. So they didn't really give two, two shakes about uh, our uh, the demands that were put on us to make them more money. And, and I got tired of that. Okay. Uh, thanks, Steph, for an honest answer about that. <laughs> <laughs> if you had one word to describe your job as a civil engineer, what would it be? <laughs> I thought about that, and uh, I'm going to use the word dam. Uh, I enjoy working on uh, what I call hydraulic structures, dams or uh, dams are part of the hydraulic structures. One of the best civil engineering uh, features of the United States, in my opinion, is Hoover Dam. Cool. And with the basic training in civil engineering, what types of different jobs might be available to you in the future? Um, for me personally? For you or for anybody in that field? You know, anybody in that field, uh, you almost can, the sky's the limit. You, if you want to own an engineering company, you can eventually do that. If you All you want to do is be a draftsman for an engineering company and, and get drawings drawn, you can do that. And so between those two bookends exist anything you can possibly think of. You can manage large projects. I've managed quite, uh, quite a few large projects here in California and I've really enjoyed that. Great. And uh, would you be willing to uh, uh, have discussions with uh, any young people who are interested in civil engineering? Most definitely. One of the things I pride myself in is being able to mentor young people in uh, their career paths or any, any activities that uh, they're about ready to take on. Great. And our uh, website at uh, rotarycareerhelp.com, uh, uh, John uh, will be listed under civil engineers, and you can go there and click on that to contact John if you have any questions. Thank, thank you, Mr. Hollenbeck. You're very welcome.